thought I was getting a really late start. <clears throat> and maybe I am, but oh man, look at all these pilgrims leaving Leon. I think probably this was a good time to switch routes for me anyway. Um, the Camino after Leon on the Frances is beautiful, but time for me to do another one. And just like that, here is where I veer off. So there go the other pilgrims. That's how you continue on the Frances towards Santiago. But I am going to Oviedo. First official sign, Camino de San Salvador, Leon de Oviedo. So the arrows leaving Leon kind of take you up on the street over there, but I have read that you can pretty much follow this river walk for, I don't know, eight or nine kilometers, I think really all the way out of the city. Um, so I'm gonna try it and actually I just saw right up ahead here, the yellow arrow. Oh, that's so encouraging. I mean, I definitely did want to try to walk this river way and it's pretty easy. You just keep the river to your left, but I always feel a little uneasy when I head away from the arrows and so seeing a yellow arrow makes me feel really good. I'm on the right track, headed out on the San Salvador. I think someone must have come through and just painted arrows because look at this, the path, you know, can go a little to the right or the left. And I looked at the ground and on the tiniest rock, there's an, there's an arrow and there's another arrow. <laughs> and there's one more, where is it? Yeah, right here, another one that's all kind of pointing to the left. There are arrows all over the place. Here are two more <laughs> down on this river walk. And I don't think that was, even the case recently i don't know i feel like someone has come through recently and painted some arrows um i you know i could be wrong maybe they were always here but when i was reading on the camino forum it sounded like you just had to kind of know to walk down by the river and just kind of follow it all the way around um but so far this is very well way marked All right, I am officially on the Camino de San Salvador. It, I have to say, it feels good to be on a different path. Um, you know, I did really enjoy my little stretch on the Camino Frances. I'm really glad that I was there to walk the Meseta. That was kind of appealing to me when I was planning this, and it's a really kind of special and unique part of the walk. But there were a lot of pilgrims leaving Leon this morning, and I don't know, this just... This feels really right. So I, it's just interesting when I was finishing the Camino Vasco, I was just feeling a little sad in a way to be leaving that route and almost nervous about joining the Frances, not knowing what to expect. But this part of it somehow really felt right. You know, I was in the city last night in Leon and you know, there are so many pilgrims around but I didn't recognize many of them. And um, I didn't, yeah, see, really anyone <laughs> that I had met on the past nine days. A couple of the Italians I saw, but really didn't see anyone. And so it kind of almost even more solidified that like, yeah, it's time for a new path, time for a new adventure. Um, so yeah, so right now it's kind of overcast, which it's, it's quite a bit of a change. It has been sunny for days and days and days. Um, but I do think, I think I'm gonna have good weather for this stretch, I hope so because I have some beautiful stages coming up and you know, doing them in the rain, I'd do them, but it wouldn't be as nice. So I think having clear weather is gonna be so good. So my fingers are crossed for that. Otherwise, I'm just happy to be walking and heading out on a new Camino. just left the bar, Bar Central, um, where I got a Cafe Cortado and oh, the man was so nice, he gave me a stamp for my credential and he gave a little plate with a tiny piece of cake and a churros and all for one euro and 30 cents. 
Um, he said that eight pilgrims he's counted have passed by today. So I think I'm the eighth. And so to me, that feels kind of crowded. <laughs> but we'll see. At least I won't be all alone, but that it won't be too, too crowded. And he said there's a little grocery store somewhere. So I'm going to try to find it and pick up a few lunch supplies so I could have a picnic today. Store looked closed, but it opened at 9. It's 9.30 right now. And I got some ham and cheese and an Aquarius, of course. <laughs> and I'm carrying a bunch of other food, so I should have plenty for lunch today. So this is one thing I love about this route. It's like eight and a half kilometers out of Leon and kind of through the, you know, just outskirts of the city and residential areas. And you're, you know, there was that river walk, but you're kind of on a paved road. And all of a sudden we reach the end of this little town and the paved road stops. <laughs> It says Oviedo, Buen Camino, and then it goes on to this dirt track. And from here, we kind of head off into those hills ahead. And I don't know why, but I just love, to me, this feels right now officially like, kind of like the start of the San Salvador. And just want to quickly clarify one thing I said in a past video about the eight other pilgrims feeling like it was crowded. You know, that's not crowded, but it's all kind of relative depending on the Camino route you're walking. So when I last walked the San Salvador, it was in 2016, and I was one of the only pilgrims on my stages. I, in the five days of walking, there was one point when I passed a group of four pilgrims, and then I met like two other pilgrims in the albergues at night, but often I was alone. So that was a very solo walk. And I think I just didn't know what to expect. On this walk, I think, you know, eight, ten other pilgrims on a stage, not that many, <laughs> and it'll be good. It'll be nice to have company. Um, I do think, though, there aren't that many albergues. I think the albergue I want to stay in tomorrow night only has ten beds, and it is in a super tiny village, um, and I don't think there are many other options. So I feel like that might be maybe the only point that could get a little tricky if there are too many pilgrims, but I think it's gonna be okay. I'm not worried about it. So, all right, time to enjoy this walk. box here right along the route and when you open it up there are notebooks and also supplies to help with blisters I have felt really good for so much of this walk just the most annoying thing is that right now there are so many little bugs flying and swarming around my face trying to go into my eyes and my ears and my nose in my mouth. <laughs> Otherwise, this walk has been great. <laughs> there was a little thunder earlier, so I'm gonna sit and have a little break and eat just in case I get rained on. Having my favorite ham and cheese wrap on a tortilla with an Aquarius. <laughs> what I just noticed. This is the Plaza del Peregrino, which is perfect. Got a couple of benches. That's where I just ate my ham and cheese wrap. There's a fountain over there. There's a sign pointing the way. Very nice spot for a break. So 
So there's a little town down here and I think you can take a short detour across a bridge to get in if you want to get something to eat because I think there is an open bar. But I'm gonna keep going because I had such a good lunch just back there a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna head for the end of the stage. I'm not sure how much more I have to go. Maybe six kilometers yet, five, not too bad. So there was an option when leaving that town and unfortunately I didn't take a video of the place in the road where there's an alternate route, but it's well marked on the sidewalk. There are yellow arrows pointing straight ahead that says you can go by road or arrows pointing to the left that I think avoids the road. This is one kilometer longer, so I am taking a slightly longer route. Still six kilometers to La Robla, so I had a little more to go than I thought, but I think these last six aren't going to be too up and down, and this should be a really nice walk. Oh, so far, this slightly longer alternate route is gorgeous. Entering La Robla. Uh, the alternate, more scenic path was really nice. It was definitely a little meandering because I think I basically like walked all around this little city town and like entered from the further side. But I did not have to walk by the side of a busy road and I had good energy, so I enjoyed taking that alternate. Okay, now I have to figure out where I'm going, so I have to pay attention. <laughs> Okay, this is my little orange room. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> this is all that I need. Oh, a bed with a blanket and towels. There's a little TV, a little desk. There is a tiny bathroom. Let's do the whole tour with the toilet. There is hand soap. A little shower here in the corner. It is perfect. I think after walking was it nine days on the Frances and staying in albergues and sharing spaces? I am grateful today to have my own little spot. Sometimes when I'm on the Camino and I have a private room, after days and days of sharing spaces, I just wanna hang out here. I went to the grocery store and I got some food. I got my favorite salad, some bread, and some boxed wine. <laughs> Not the best but it's okay. I actually went out and had a glass of wine. It was really good. And so rather than order another and stay out, I just decided to come back here. Um, my friend who I met a few days ago, Rolf, and also Kim, they're both here in this town. I ran into Kim in the grocery store and Rolf and I were exchanging messages and they invited me out to eat with them, but I just want a quiet night in. So I will, I think maybe in the next few days, socialize with pilgrims, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy <laughs> a little wine in my room and relax.